Hey guys, welcome to week 25 of pregnancy. This is your 30 minute full body workout. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you. So hit that subscribe button after you're done and leave any questions in the comments below. A reminder to take things at your own pace and keep a bottle of water nearby to remain hydrated. We'll start with a bit of a warm up in standing and our first movement is a lateral lunge. So here, you're just moving from side to side, nice and easy. You should feel a bit of an inner thigh stretch as you move from side to side. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We'll then stand up, hands on the shoulders, and it's a twist from side to side. Try to keep your hips facing forwards and it's just the upper half of the body that's turning. Keep that chest open. Four, three, two, and one. And then we're into some lunges. So step behind you, arms overhead, and back to standing. So this is just to give the hip flexors a bit of a stretch. Keep that pelvis slightly tucked under as you lunge backwards. Five more. Four. Three, two, one, and then roll down, knee pedal. So bring that chin to chest, roll down, and alternately bend and straighten your knees in this position. You should feel a bit of a lower back stretch into the legs. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll back up into standing. And we'll go through that one more time. Nice wide legs and move from side to side. Keep the chest open and facing forwards rather than rounding in this movement. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're standing up, hands on shoulders, and rotate from side to side. Keep a bit of tension in those abdominals. You may hear a few clicks and cracks. That's your spine moving around and gaining mobility. Three, two, one. Into our lunges. Step back, arms overhead. Stretch out that quadricep and that hip flexor. Four, three, two, one. And then move back. We're rolling down into a knee pedal. Alternately bend and straighten those knees. Relax the head. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and roll back up into standing. Just give those shoulders a bit of a roll and We'll move into some leg exercises. 
still in standing. Our first is a tabletop with a knee bend. So your knees are going to be slightly bent with a straight back, you're hinging forward. My weight is forward on my feet rather than sitting back and in this position, I bend the knees and then semi-straighten them three times. Three, and then I stand back up and we do that again. Hinge, weight forward on the feet and keep lifting the sitting bones. I'm not rounding that spine. I'm flattening out, almost trying to stick that buttocks out as you bend the knees. Bend, lift, bend, lift. Three of those and as you stand up, squeeze the glutes. Down, down, down. Up, squeeze. Just two more. Down, down, squeeze up, bend. Two, three, and up. We're then into a bit of balance work. You're going to lift one knee up in front of you, then take it behind you into a deadlift. So sweep that leg forward, use those abs to bring the knee up, sweep it back, keep both hips facing the mat as you hinge forward. If you need to bring both feet flat onto the ground between each movement, do so to get your balance. Otherwise, see if you can make it a smooth movement from forward to back. Just two more on this side. Last one. And we switch. So first, bring that knee up, squeeze the glutes of that standing leg to keep you stable. Forward. And back. And we keep doing this. Forward. And take that leg back. Notice that it's not a quick movement. It is slow and controlled. You might feel the muscles around the ankle and the calf burning and working. That's what we want. Two more. One more. And relax onto some simple squats feet wider a little bit wider than hip distance apart squatting down and we're pulsing here for 30 seconds keeping a nice low squat so we're really working those quads we're working those glutes keep the chest open And we've got about 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and come back up. We're going to repeat all of those again. Now you should know the movements pretty well. We'll start with a tabletop, three knee bends, keep lifting the buttocks up rather than rounding that lower spine. Keep the chest open. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Two, 
three, squeeze, down, two, three, squeeze, three more. Keep tension in those abdominals. So as you bend forward, you're not letting that belly hang to the floor. We're pulling up a bit and flattening through the ribs. And this should be our last one. Up, squeeze. Straight into our balance. Knee up, sweep it back. Deadlift. Keep the chest open, keep that back relatively straight, keep both hips facing the floor. I always find that I'm actually a little bit better on the second set because the nervous system has had time to warm up and get used to the movement and the firing patterns that it needs to use. One more. Switch straight to the other side. Squeeze the glute of that standing leg to help give you stability. If you lose your balance, recenter yourself. Think about those abs, bracing. Two more. Last one. And bring those feet together. We're into our 30 second squat hold. Sit down, wait is on the heels and we're pulsing here. Pulse, pulse, keep those hips low. Almost there, we've got 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. And standing up, those legs should have gotten a bit of a workout. We're going to move down to the mat now. So we'll roll down, chin to chest, round the spine, and walk forward into a kneeling plank position. In this position, before you move, bring that belly up, a bit, flatten the ribs as you brace your abdominals, bring the hips a little bit forward of the knees, because from here the movement is down onto the elbows, back up, and push up. And then again, down, down, up, up, push up and we keep doing that. Try to make sure that the hips aren't swaying side to side. Our belly isn't dropping or coning. We've still got tension in those abs. Down, down, up, up up. Last one. Push up. Okay, take the pressure off of those wrists. Give the shoulders a bit of a roll. We're going to do that one more time. Just eight. So walking down and up into a push up. Make sure you're in a good starting position. 
hips forward, abdominals braced, bringing that belly up and we go down. That's one. Two. You can switch which arm goes down first between reps. Four more. Look down at that belly. Make sure you're still bracing those abs. Bringing that baby closer to the spine. Last one. Down. Sit back into child's pose, knees wide, for a little bit of a release before we continue. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. You're then going to come into an all fours position. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Before we start, we'll do a bit of mobility. Round the spine, push up. And then arch, sticking that buttock down. And round, pull up. And arch. Two more. And one more. Now settle into a middle neutral area. Lift that belly up as you flatten the ribs and brace those abs. We're bringing one knee up towards the ceiling, circling out and down. So imagine drawing a circle with that knee. Try not to let the hips open up or move as you circle. Just that one leg circling everything else is still. We're then going to switch directions and circle the other way. So it's not about how big you can make that circle. It can be relatively small as long as you're keeping everything else in position. Five, four, three, two, one. We're then going to bring that leg up, heel to ceiling, keep the knee where it is as you straighten the knee and then bend. Make sure that your back is not arched. You're still tensing those abs, working that core. Four, three, two, one, hold it there, pulse the heel up towards the ceiling for eight counts, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Whew. Just shift those hips from side to side as you release out those hips and breathe. You know the moves, what must be, what's done on one side must be done on the other. So we repeat, get into a good starting position. 
push out of the shoulder blades. Brace those abdominals. And we start with that knee circle. Keep both hips facing the mat and weight relatively even on both hands. Try not to be leaning on one hand more than the other. If this is hurting your back at all, make the circles smaller and don't lift it as high. Two, one circle the other way. Keep pushing out of those shoulders. Keep those abdominals braced and tense. Three, two, one. You're going to hold that leg up there. Keep the knee where it is and we straighten and bend that knee, keeping it lifted. Both hips facing the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Pulse that hip up, pushing the heel to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. So sit back into child's pose with the knees a little bit wide and you're going to walk your hands over to one side. And just stretch here. And then walk over to the other side. Same thing. Okay, come back up. We're going to work our obliques or these side abdominals. So you'll lower yourself down onto one elbow, knees together, bring that baby a bit closer towards you as you flatten those ribs. We push the hips up to the ceiling. Top hand can be on your hip, behind your head, or pointing up towards the ceiling. And the movement is a tap forward, and then bring the knees back together. Tap, bring them back together. In this position, I'm squeezing both my glutes, pushing my hips a little bit forward so I don't end up sitting too far back. And I'm lifting that bottom hip up off the mat. Five, four, three, two, one, hold it there. Now we twist towards the mat. Elbow down and then open. But keep those hips lifted. Six more. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and release. Just let that hip or that waist fall to the ground. You stretch it out a bit and move to the other side. Elbow down, push up and out of that bottom shoulder knees together, hips up to the ceiling, push the hips forward and we tap forward and back. 
So notice that my body isn't swaying and moving with that leg. The body and trunk stays where it is and it's just that leg that is moving. Breathe. Tap. Squeeze back. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep the hips lifted. Twist. Elbow to mat. And open. Have a look down at that belly. Make sure it's not completely relaxed. Keep it tense. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And sit the hips down. Just let that waist fall down to the mat. Give it a bit of a side stretch. We're almost done. We're gonna work a little bit more of core in sitting. So you'll start sitting up on those sitting bones. Nice open chest. And before we get into the real work, just give me a few pelvic tilts. Here. Keep the chest open and it's just that bottom spine and that pelvis that's moving. Just three more. Two. One. Now we tilt that pelvis, tuck it under, round that lower spine and lower ourselves into a half roll down position. Making sure that we're flat as we can get here. From here, you're going to bring the arms forward and the movement is almost like you're pulling a rope. So there's a little bit of a spine twist and tension in those arms as you pull towards yourself. If this is too challenging, Come up higher, it makes it easier. And you can also do this with one hand behind the thigh. Otherwise, we're here. Really pull back with that elbow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Come up, let the knees fall out. Just hinge forward for a quick release. And then we move back into that half roll down position. But this time we've got a straight arm twist. So tuck the pelvis under, round that spine. Bring the arms forwards and now we're opening one hand out to the side as we twist holding this C curve position twist the lower you are the more challenging the higher you are the easier Keep the legs relaxed. All of this tension is in the abdominal region. Four, three, two, one. Come up, quick release. We've got one more exercise in this position. So tuck, round, and this time we're extending one leg and turning the toes 
out and it's a lift in this position squeezing up you can do it here to take some of the tension off of the abs and make it a little bit easier just three more two one we're working the inner thighs here as well as the abs other side turn out and lift so you should feel it working on the inside of that thigh as well as the lower abs seven six five four three two one and come up we're going to move into a bit of stretching bring one leg forward other leg back and reach up and over to one side push the hips slightly forward so we're feeling a stretch in this area and switch over to the other side you won't go as far but we're still stretching out some of the muscles in this area here other side one leg forward one leg back reach up and over the further you take that back leg behind you the more of a stretch you'll feel in those hips and other way you're then going to come to a cross-legged position you're going to bring one foot up like this and hinge forward until you feel a stretch in the buttocks keep the back straight and chest open as you hinge forward And then we switch bring the other foot up and if it's difficult to bring one foot up just sit in a normal cross-legged position breathe come to a kneeling position with one leg forward one leg back Keep the pelvis tucked under as you push the hips forward and then sit the hips back. Rock forward and then sit back. Four, three, two, one switch to the other side pelvis tucked under push the hips forward and then sit back forward and back three two one then take those legs behind you push up into a roll down position to roll slowly back into standing Whew. and that is our 30 minute workout complete well done check out some of our other workouts for this week we also have a cardio hit out so give that a try and I will see you on another Belly Strong video soon.